it's Brianna Lene and today I'm going to show you how you can do some nice basic makeup in 10 minutes. I'm going to be using all Fenty Beauty products and I'm starting with this nice eyebrow pencil. I really like how they have the brush on the end rather than the comb that I get <laughs> from the drugstore. And I am using a deep black color on my eyebrows. Now when I do my eyebrows, I like to outline my eyebrows that are already there and I do gentle strokes so it's not as dark. Then I use the brush to brush out any harsh lines until you know I get the desired shape and feeling that I like for my eyebrow. So I really like this. This is my first time using Fenty makeup products and honestly I'm sold on the pencil. So I'm now following up with the Pro Concealer. I am shade 390 y'all. And it took me forever to figure it out. But I am 390 and this is my first time using this concealer so I use one of my smaller makeup brushes and again I am just outlining my eyebrow. I want the concealer to give my eyebrow a fresh look. Um, I don't normally get my eyebrows uh, done so this concealer gives me that oh girl you just got tweezed effect you know what I mean. So I will just do this outline it to give it a nice clean look one thing that i really like about this fenty um, concealer it goes on nice and smooth and it already you can see is blending pretty well with my skin now once i blend it out honey i was very surprised but what you do to one side you must do to the other and just keep in mind your eyebrows are not twins they're cousins but you want them to look right so take your time now I'm taking my sponge to blend in that concealer. Um, with this uh, makeup style that I'm doing, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of foundation, so that's why my makeup does not take that long, and this is beginner friendly. And also, if you're going for that no makeup makeup look, this would be perfect for you. So as you can see, y'all, you saw how that blended so perfectly. I still have more to blend, but you know, take your time and blend it in. So when you are just about done blending it in, it's time for the next step, which I will be using my bronzer in the shade of Mocha Mommy. And the reason I decide to use a bronzer is because I just like for it to kind of warm the face, add a little bit of shape to my face, and then I just work it in. When you apply bronzer, I just normally use one of my bigger brushes and I try to put a little bit on, but it's okay if you put too much, you just use another brush to blend it in, work it out so it softens up the lines. So next, if it ain't light, it ain't right. We need to put some highlights to complement the bronzer that we already did. And the highlight that I'm using is from Milani. All of the makeup that I use for this style can be found in the description box. Next, we're going to be following up with the lashes, honey. The Full Frontal Fenty Mascara is what I will be using on my lashes just to give them a little bump, you feel me? So I really liked how it elongated my lashes. Um, it didn't clump. It was nice and simple. Now it's time for my sheer shiny lipstick in the shade of Cookies and Cocoa. Now this is one of the newest lipsticks that came out from Fenty and if you haven't seen it already, check out my unboxing so you can see the other shades that I got too. I love how it went on, nice and simple, and this is how your girl is looking. You can tell I have makeup on, but does she really? Maybe she's born with it, maybe it's Fenty. <laughs> tell me what you guys think of this look. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.